Hello everyone, let's talk about jump starting your bookmaking process by using Blurb Layouts. The layouts are a great place to start your book, especially if you aren't entirely sure what you want to do. Under the Layouts tab near the center of your screen, you will see a drop down menu that highlights the assortment of layout options at your disposal. There are photo layouts, including those for one photo, two photo, three photo spreads, etc. You have photo and text layouts, and even novel and front matter layouts for those of you doing literature or poetry. It's as easy as choosing the layout you want and either double clicking or dragging into the layout below. But there's a couple of other things I want to highlight. First, let's talk about populating the layout with content, such as photos, which you can find under the photo button at the top. And it's as easy as clicking and dragging into the layout below. You can also add text simply by clicking on any text container and beginning to write. Or you can use an RTF file from the text file button at the top and simply drag it into the layout. But there's another button I want to bring your attention to as well, which is the Save Layout button. Let's say that you've created a spread by creating a photo container and a text container, and you know that you want to use this spread again. You can simply hit the Save Layout button, and it will ask whether you want to save the right page, the left page, or the entire spread. You name the spread, and then when you save the layout, it shows up under the My Layouts portion of the drop-down menu so that you can reutilize this layout over and over again. Note that the layouts that are saved are per book size, meaning that if you save a layout while making a square book, that layout will not be available for your portrait book, and vice versa. Thanks for tuning in. Good luck and happy bookmaking.